put your glasses on and, and, and look look at five years ahead. And Tesco's are here, capacity's increased, stadium revamped. Where would you ideally want to see or where would the board ideally want to see the club? I think, look, again, you're back to putting pressure on people and that, but you've got to have goals and you've got to have ambitions. Um, the... I think, and I've said openly, and, and in some quarters I've been hammered a little bit for it, for lacking ambition, but it's not lacking ambition. It's just being realistic and putting into perspective what we can do with this model of being a fan's own club and breaking even year after year. Um, I, I think our model lends us to be a competitive League One club mm-hmm. um, with the budget that we can deliver, a very competitive League One mm-hmm. club. Um, and and or a struggling championship club. Now, there's plenty of examples of, of clubs that have had small budgets that have gone through the leagues and, and ended up in the premiership, you know? Um, so you can never, ever discount that. And it's and if, as a club, we've always got to aspire to be the best that we can. I mean, I'd love to see in 10 years us winning the Champions League. You know, every everyone, whether you're you're a chief exec or a chairman or a director, whether it be Rochdale, Scunthorpe, Berry, Hartlepool, you name it. That's got to be, football's a competitive game. You want to go out there and you want to finish as high as you can year on year on year. So I'd love us at some point to go and win the Champions League. But putting my realistic hat on, I think we can be a very, very competitive League One club or a struggling championship club. 